We are working on a one-shot transfer learning tool for geoscientists. Consider, we have a new seismic survey. It is shiny new, covers some substantial area and has complex geology, and we don't have any interpretation for it. There are some problems with traditional methods for dealing with the problem. Classical methods would give us just the completely noisy pictures, and the fault neural networks would not be helpful either due to complex geology of the project. And this is where one-shot transfer learning comes into play. It would enable fault detection based on limited information about the faulting. That is, a geologist who received a seismic project would only label one or two examples with the correct interpretation. I will go over several points that contribute to one-shot level performance, how we prepare the training dataset, the neural network and the training process. To create synthetic dataset for neural network training, we use comprehensive forward modeling. The synthetic generated dataset does not have the same problem with label quality and dataset size as manual interpretation does. In general case, any geological environment can be approximated to some degree, which is sufficient to train a neural network with useful features. As a result, we have hundreds of thousands of unique 3D data samples that provide a clear full definition free of subjective view. Once we have a data set for training, then we train the UNET network. The network accepts raw seismic data with dimensions of 128 in each direction and output fault segmentation with the same dimensions. At each stage, we must use metrics to control the performance of the neural network on synthetic or real data set. There are numerous metrics for segmentation problem in literature. The F1 score, which balances precision and recall, is the most commonly used metric for fault segmentation. We employ a slightly modified version of the beta F1 score with the parameters that we define. I demonstrate the use of one-shot transfer learning framework on the Adelie field from northwest of Australia. The dataset was used as a challenging example in the Force 2020 competition for fault detection. And the data set is presented here. Looking at the inline section, we can see that the seismic has two distinct faulting systems, which are connected by smaller faulting in the shallow part. They are larger faults and regional faulting in a deeper part. Because I'm not a geologist, I will not go into details about the structural geology or describe the positional sequences. I calculated some analytical based attributes. And we can see here the coherency based attributes provide us with noisy images at a deeper part. And the shallow part as well have some problems. The neural network even without one shot transfer learning shows better prediction than the analytical attribute. But still. Here, the deeper part needs to be improved, because the neural network fails to differentiate some complex fault conjunctions and has some disconnected fault predictions. We need to label one slice in each direction in order to use one-shot learning on this dataset. We have one slice from inline and crossline for a total of two slices. It is preferable to choose an easy-to-interpret slices for labeling purposes, because some people were asking me, I wanted to emphasize that you don't need to divide the seismic volume into shallower and deeper section to work with them separately. The network can learn multiple scale features at once. We can see how neural network learned the training slices in this section. The image remains consistent throughout the prediction. All the faults appear to be jointed in 2D and 3D space. Finally, we begin to see the faulting structures in the shallow part. Whereas on coherency there was only one noise, and the deeper part appears to be well defined now. The most intriguing part is to see how network learned to generalize based on one slice in each direction. To determine this, we use validation slides on inline 4385. We see an almost identical match with the manual interpretation which assures us that the training process was done right. Because the seismic volume has some problems with random noises and have complex geological structures, it is difficult to evaluate the results of the proposed workflow. For the demonstration purpose, I have applied machine learning seismic structure enhancement. 
that removes all the noises and tries to restore structural information. Here you can see the overlay of the prediction by one-shot transfer learning framework with enhanced volume. The one-shot transfer learning framework helps us get better quality for delineation based on fewer training data. So you might forget about spending a lot of time manually interpreting data for the machines. The one-shot learning framework allows for faster fold delineation without sacrificing quality due to a unique neural network architecture and a massive amount of realistically looking synthetic seismic images. Moreover, the network can accumulate experience while you are working with seismic data and at the end, you will have an experienced seismic interpretation pal that might offer you a second opinion when you need one.